most dishes in Korea contain meat, but I'm a vegan. So come along with me in this vegan in Korea challenge to see if I'm able to survive here. Did I travel two hours to get to this cafe? Yes. Was it worth it? Let's find out. The cafe was pretty, pretty good. And the food looks amazing. The matcha latte was thick, four out of five. But the mugwort latte was not. It had a Chinese medicine aftertaste, a one out of five. For the chocolate or grey cake, the cream was cream. Both flavors match each other really well, 3.5 out of 5. Last but not least, the matcha vanilla cake was very good, 4 out of 5. So what's your verdict? Was it worth it or not? No expectations, no disappointment. I had no expectations for this restaurant since it was serving western food in Korea. So I got the most Korean dish I could find in the menu and it was this bulgogi burger. The flavor and the texture of the meat was so good! The beef cheeseburger was a decent burger but it was not as amazing as the bulgogi burger. For sides, we got the fried Satan balls that taste like regular soy meat but the sauce combination of the mustard and mayo was so yummy. This brings me to my point that I wanted to try Korean cuisine in Jeju Island today but it was on fire so instead i went to udo island i was cycling happily and i found this restaurant so i went in and ordered a vegetable peeping pub without the egg to make it vegan and guess what the egg came with my food so i took it out and pretended like nothing happened while i was eating i saw this small purple car with the vegan teacher on it i tried to catch up with her and i saw her jumping into the ocean and rode a boat back to jeju island but i still kept chasing wanting to tell her that i did not kill the chick but i fell have you heard of a $30 home dining experience before? Today, I'm going to show you everything I ate at this home dining experience. The presentation for all 7 courses is insane. Like, how can a plate of blueberries, cherry tomatoes, and konjac sushi look so perfect? The flavors and the texture of the food are very unique, like this mushroom soup, which is the best I've tried, and also this brown rice topuki that comprises of chunky brown rice cake, sweet potato, and even slices of watermelon. Very unique, very spicy, but very yummy. The ingredients she used are also very fresh since she has a beautiful garden outside of the kitchen where we were invited to enjoy our last course which is the dessert and Haru the cat was waiting for me outside. Just kidding, she didn't care about me. Bye!